guys, so today's video is going to be a how to get organized and kind of my quick tips on staying organized throughout the school year, but this is going to be my college edition and by any means you can definitely apply these if you're in high school and yeah, I thought that I would share my tips on how to stay organized because I like to think of myself as an organized person to an extent. And also before I get into the actual topic of the video, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for entering my BTS with MMG Target giveaway. I have now closed the giveaway and chosen a winner. This is the winning picture. Ta-da! So congratulations to Monique. And I really was overwhelmed with all of your guys' like pictures and stuff. I loved all of them. I'm going to share a few with you right here so you guys can see what people submitted and I was thoroughly impressed so great job guys hope you guys are getting excited for back to school and I wish you all the best and yeah let's go ahead and jump in so my first piece of advice is to have a daily planner or an agenda for everyday activities I got mine from Lily Pulitzer I can't remember what pattern it is but I'll have it like on the screen here and this is the first year that I've gotten a Lily Pulitzer agenda and <laughs> I'm obsessed and if you're wondering where you can get it from, like, because they don't ship to Canada, I actually had it shipped to my mom's friend in the States, and then she brought it across the border for me. Anyways, you can get it at Pink Pelican, I think that's the name of the thing. I'll have it linked down below. My friend Lauren actually, like, found that out, and that's where she got hers, so I figured I would mention that. Um, if you're looking to buy a Lily Pulitzer agenda and you're in Canada, but if you're in the States, you can just on order it online. This is the large size. There is, like, a medium, a jumbo, which... This is large, I don't know who would order the jumbo one, because this is really big, but I love it and it has quite a few things. I highly recommend getting an agenda that has um, like full calendar and days, so here I'll try and show you what I mean. So this would be a full calendar page, so it has like, you know, a calendar, and then it also has like um, the weekly pages. So I really like it, it has a lot of space for me to write because I have big writing so that's good. It also comes with stickers so you can mark down like special dates and stuff and I'm just really really happy with it but obviously you can just get a regular agenda at like Target or Walmart, they have tons of good ones too but I just wanted to get a special one for my second year in college and yeah so I was really happy with that and so basically my tip number one is to get an agenda but also you want to make sure that you are organized within your agenda so I highly recommend getting colored pens to write in and having specific colors for specific classes or just events so for example I would choose like pink for all my school stuff and then I would have purple for all my work stuff which would be YouTube and then like blue would be like other activities kind of thing so that's basically how I like to organize it it makes it look really pretty as well as like I don't know keeping you organized. Another thing that I did a couple years ago with my agenda was use highlighters to highlight things and this just kind of goes for anything if you're studying or if you're writing your, your agenda or like I know using notes and stuff. Highlighters are really great to stay organized as well. You can color coat them through classes or you can just use them for different things so like blue would be stuff you need to remember and pink would be stuff that's on the test and stuff so that's just kind of a quick tip and you guys probably already knew that. Another great thing that I have used a ton this year and has come in, like, I think it's the best thing that I purchased for my room, and that is my whiteboard calendar. I absolutely love wiping it off and putting everything in for the next month. That's, like, one of my favorite activities. It's pretty lame, but I love it. And this just helps you stay organized. You can pre-plan the month, and if you have anything that you need to add to it, you can write it down. If it changes, you can just erase it. And I think that's a really great way to stay organized and so you can kind of see what your week is going to be like, which maybe you have a lot going on or you don't and you can plan for that. And so that's another great thing to have in your college dorm. Another great tip that, <laughs> another thing that I learned within the past year of going to college is get things done early. And I know this is probably said in like all stay organized videos, but I definitely do recommend getting things done early because you never know what kind of party or events gonna come up or if you're gonna be lacking some sleep and you're gonna want to take a nap so I highly recommend getting things done ahead of time because you don't want the stress of like having to do something last minute and especially in the program that I'm in you can have a lot of computer problems last minute and that's not fun either so getting it done ahead of time is my like number one recommendation and I do like to procrastinate sometimes but I'm more I'm more of a go-getter, get it done, because it's a great feeling and you can like reward yourself with something once you're done. Another great tip for being in college is don't overplan your life. <laughs> um, with YouTube, I kind of have to overplan my life just because I have to schedule time to hang out with friends as well as YouTube, as well as like 
other things like I don't know exercising that's really hard to schedule into my schedule but I think that scheduling like downtime and not having anything planned is a really good idea because in college you don't necessarily get a lot of sleep and so those are the times that you're gonna want to do that I also like to schedule like I don't really schedule it but I like to save Sunday nights for me time if that makes sense and so I like to use like a face mask have my shower kind of do my hair how I want plan my week and just get organized on Sunday nights and like maybe make your lunch for the next day so that's kind of how I like to do it so every Sunday night is basically the night that I just stay in obviously and just kind of relax another great tip on staying organized and actually doing better in school is probably working with friends. I know sometimes, depending on the project, sometimes working with friends is not a really great idea, but there are study groups and things like that at most schools. My school doesn't really have that, but my friends and I always work on schoolwork together, so if there's like a project that you have to do, we usually like stay behind on like a Thursday after school and just finish it because it's so much easier than having to stay in on a Friday and finish it when you want to go out. And yeah, just stuff like that. Just doing, doing work with your friends, A, I think you'll learn more, and B, I think that it helps you get it done faster and if you don't know the answer to something then maybe they do especially for online quizzes just throwing it out there you might want to you know team up and help each other with that and yeah so I recommend working with friends or studying with friends if you're able to and if that's not gonna like I don't know affect your studying if that makes sense and that brings me to my next tip is having a very quiet place to do your studying with my program the first semester I had a lot of like quizzes and tests and stuff so I was studying constantly and I usually found myself in my bed with my books open and stuff and that's just kind of where I studied um, there's a lot of great places on campus usually that have like study halls and study rooms that you can book and I highly recommend taking advantage of those because those can be really good when you're studying or working on projects with friends if it's more of a like secret project then that's what I would recommend looking into your school and seeing what's available because um, it's there for you to take advantage of might as well kind of thing. Another tip that I have for when you are using a laptop for school is definitely naming your files properly or just staying organized with the like within your laptop because I find myself my desktop on my laptop super embarrassing because I have tons of pictures and stuff just because I need to know where these files are quick when I'm doing YouTube and stuff and so my desktop is usually filled with YouTube clips and all this crap that should be organized and I like to do it every once in a while but definitely during school if you're gonna be using like if you're gonna need resumes and if you're gonna need like essays and stuff like that I would definitely recommend organizing your computer for all of that and making it really neat and tidy because it's gonna be way easier for you to find things and you're not gonna go into a panic when you can't find something when you're about to present to the class so I definitely recommend not only organizing your life and your agenda but as well on your computer so those are basically all of my tips for staying organized during college I don't know if that really helped you guys or not, but I figured I'd make it a little bit different than my previous organization video, which I'll have linked down below. It's from like two years ago, so I don't even know what I say in that. But hopefully this has like helped you a little bit. And my biggest thing is just plan ahead so you guys can expect the unexpected if you have something like a project coming up or if there's an unexpected party that you want to go to, that kind of thing. Just keeping on top of things is really going to make your life a lot easier, and I learned that from experience. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.